now return to Rocks in Space. I don't know how those mutant vegetables invaded our planet, but they'll pay for what they've done. I promise you that, or my name isn't Captain Comet. Captain, look out behind you. <gasps> Leaping light speed. To be continued? Huh? I can't stand it when they do that. Don't worry, Splint. The Space Rocks will make soup out of those mutant veggies in the next episode. The cosmos is their place. They are bold and they are brave. We salute you, Rocks in Space! Grab your gear, God Rocks. You're on stage in ten seconds. Ten, ten seconds? seconds? Nine, Nine, eight, seven, seven six, six. Let's hear it for the five, God Rocks. Four, three, Two, one! Kids at the office are always messing me up with their directions. What a day I'm having! What a. What? What? Whoa! Whoa, that was close. A job with a unique opportunity, they told me. See the universe, they said. <laughs> hey, watch where you're going! What's your problem? Whoa! Whoa. Black hole. Do not enter? Uh-oh. Okay. God's awesome! He made this way cool universe and everything in it! Before the rocks cry out, let's fill this world. Kids a chip off the old block, isn't he, Rube? Last episode of Rocks in Space? There were alien mutant vegetables! Huh? 
Hey, hey, listen, everybody. It was just a TV show. It was just a TV show. There aren't really any mutant vegetables from outer space. Yeah, of course. It's it's only a TV show. show. I think. Relax. Chill, everybody. Look, how about the band and I go check out where that space thing crashed after the concert? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Right, guys? What do you think, Pastor Jasper? <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea, Chip. Now, don't worry, folks. Let's not get all worked up until we know what we're talking about. We can all meet back at the Stone Church tonight during our glory time service. The God Rocks can bring us news about what they found then. Spike in, Pastor Jay. The God Rocks are on the job. <laughs> Do you think there's time for just a little more music before you go? <laughs> sure. Hit it, Carb. What did I tell you, honey? It's a chip off the old block. What a rush! Somebody cool me down! Cause I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning rock! Well, take me to your leader! What is wrong with this TV set? Nothing's been working right in this house since we got home from the concert. Must have been that loud music. It's more likely radioactive interference caused by that mutant alien spaceship that crashed. Whatever. There you go. I fixed it. Now eat your broccoli, Nuggy. It's good for you. You can have Daddy's broccoli, too, if you like, Nuggy. Now, Cliff, Mommy wants you to eat your broccoli, too. I love broccoli. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news of what is now feared to be a mutant vegetable invasion from outer space. Our own brave Rocky Ridge investigative team is visiting the crash site as I speak and will report what they find later tonight at the Stone Church's glory time service. Hey, oh, now, brother. Always wanted to do that. Until then, citizens are advised to stay in their homes and avoid eating any strange looking vegetables. This is Water Concrete reporting. Look! A broccoli spaceman. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Something must have been pretty big to make a hole that size. Not necessarily. The speed and trajectory of the object would have a greater effect on the crater size than its actual mass. Whatever you say, Captain. <laughs> I think Split have found his alien oh, life form! <laughs> yeah, a mutant alien rock hound. Hey, Splinter, what's this? Ah, don't touch it. It's a mutant veggie alien mind probe ring. It'll suck your brains out. Jim, no! <laughs> no! Ah, take me to your soup kitchen. <laughs> Chef! Relax, Splinter. I'm only kidding. <sighs> what is that ring thing anyway? It's a mutant vegetable mind probe ring! <laughs> Don't touch it! <laughs> Too late. His brains have been sucked out like a milkshake. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mr. Livingstone. <laughs> what do you creatures want? Take us to your fridge, please. Hi, Splinter. You know where the fridge is. Just help yourself. Thanks, Mrs. L. Wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to be out there at the crash site with Chip and the rest of the band? Been there. Done that, ma'am. Well, where are Chip and the others? 
safe and accounted for, <sighs> and on their way right now to report to Pastor Jasper. Mm-hmm. Okay. All clear. No mutant vegetables here. <gasps> Thank goodness. Uh, isn't it time we got going to church? Let's go. Chip is already there, reporting to the pastor. Nuggy, are you ready? Coming, Mom. <sighs> Why does stuff always happen to me? I lost half my meteor showering samples in that crash landing. Sales are dismal. And I have no idea where in the cosmos I've crashed. <sighs> my situation's as dark as that black hole I fell into. Hmm. Business doesn't look too good here either. The aliens are coming! Look for your lives! Rocky Ridge has been invaded! I'm out of here. I'm going to church. I only took this traveling sales rock job because I thought I might find some answers. Oh? But I'm still as lost and alone as ever. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Oh. Let there be light to fill the sky. Oh. Whoa. I must have been having another one of those dreams again. But it's the first time I've seen something like you. I'm sure Pastor Jasper will be able to explain those aliens. And you know, come to think of it, Ruby, I've always had a funny feeling about broccoli. I always thought vegetables were good for you. Uh, Mom, did you see that? Say, buddy, you wouldn't happen to know what star system this is, would you? Oh. Uh, how about what planet I'm on? Hmm. Could I interest you in some nice meteor showerings? Huh? Blast off bubble bath or cosmic soap on a rope? Yeah, you didn't strike me as the get clean type anyway. Oh, I shouldn't be bugging you like this. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No, uh, really. But hey, I do have one more question. I mean, if you don't mind. See, it's, it's kind of personal. Well, this is the ticket. I've traveled the entire universe from the Gamma Quadrant to the Milky Way searching for the meaning of my life. Why am I here? Where'd I come from? Where am I going? And you know what I found after all that searching? Nothing, except black holes, space junk, cheap hotels, and fast food. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, I'm living a dog's life. Uh, no offense. I'm worth about as much as this load of junk samples I'm carrying. questions raised through your mind what does it mean to be alive where do i come from where do i belong what is the purpose of my life so many questions but the answer seems so hard to find so alone you've been so
good listener, friend. Do you know that? Where are you taking me? Yes, fellow God Rocks, it can be a long and lonely road until you find the truth. Until you find God's truth. And these are troubled times. These yeah. are troubled times. But we know God has everything under control. Preach it, Rev. This is the day that the Lord has made, and he's made all that is in it. Right on. This is the day. Now, I know a lot of you folks have been fretting ever since that strange object fell from the sky earlier today. Chip Livingstone and his friends were brave enough to go out there, and they're here to tell us what they found. Chip? Hi, guys. Well, to tell the truth, Pastor Jasper, all we found was a big smoking hole. Something definitely fell there, but we don't know what it was or where it came from. We did find several of these mysterious colored rings, though. All clear. Look, Mom, it's Ruff and the Broccoli Alien. Ooh! Ah! It's an alien mutant vegetable! It's attacking! What? Excuse me, but those are my mellow yellow and pink planet meteor shower ring samples. Where'd you find them? Look, if you don't like the color, there's a whole lot more where those came from. <laughs> Check this out. Ooh. Or, how about some lovely space soap on a rope? I've got minty Venus and tangy twinkle sense. Or, my personal favorite for that special man rock in a house, Old Moon Spice. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you what made that big hole in the ground? Were you that flaming fireball that fell from the sky during our concert? Look, it was an emergency landing, okay? I didn't mean to enter your space without a permit. Don't mind him. He's a big Rocks in Space fan. I love that show. Cool. What's your name, friend? And what's brought you here to Earth? You sure look like you're a long way from home. My name's Buck. I can tell you that much. And the thing is, I don't know where my real home is. I've spent my whole life searching, trying to find out. I, I don't even know why I'm here, Pastor. Now, now. You're with family here, Buck. And I think we can help. You see, the Bible says everybody and everything has a purpose. You just have to start at the beginning. The beginning? That's right. The beginning. Where all things began with God. The great creator. Look, why don't you sit right down there with Chip and the others? I think I have a story that might help you find what you've been looking for. You see, Buck, in the beginning, God created everything. You mean everything up there? All the galaxies and faraway places I've seen? God made all that? <laughs> he sure did. And a whole lot more, too. That's cosmic. Tell me more. Uh, please. All right, now. I'd like everybody to close their eyes and imagine. In the beginning, everything was dark. There was nothing but nothing till God made it start. He spoke the word, said, let there be light. The darkness was divided into day and night. God said, let there be lights to fill the sky. Wow, leaping light speed. Now I understand the universe. All of the countless stars, galaxies, planets, and comets. It was God. I remember everything. It, it wasn't a dream. It was real, and I was there. 
Just after God made all that, it was just like you said, Pastor. The darkness, the bright lights and colors, and something else. A sound that was God's voice. It was amazing, like beautiful music, and it was everywhere. Up there's where I came from. God made me. Yes, but God made you. In fact, we're all part of his wonderful creation. You see, Buck? You're a god rock, just like us. And not just any god rock. You've seen things none of us have ever seen before. Amazing things. Heavy things. You're a real rock from space. A hero. <laughs> Me? A hero? You sure are. You were there, dude. You the rock. Yeah. I'm a god rock. I'm not just some kind of cosmic mistake or joke. I was created for a reason. And I've got a story to tell. Alright. Yeah. In the beginning, God spoke the word. And when God talks, creation rocks. In the beginning, everything was dark. There was nothing but nothing till God made it start. He spoke the word and said, let there be light. The darkness was divided into Creation rocks! Give me some guitar, Jimmy, baby! He put lights in the sky to mark the days and years. Make stars and planets both far and near. Fish in the ocean, birds in the sky. Animals and wildlife of every kind. Time began, so stop the clock and listen. When God talks, creation rocks! When God talks, creation rocks! His words are electric. Made with the purpose from a master plan Everything, every creature by the great I am When God talks, creation rocks These words are electric, they can give you a shot Roll over down, a little knock out your socks Cause brother, when God talks, creation rocks God was real pleased, creation was fun There was just one more thing before his work was done He made a man named Adam And a woman named It's an amazing story with the developing flock. So listen, when God talks, creation rocks. And it's a beautiful story, too. God made everything and everybody with a purpose and a plan. That's cosmic, Pastor Jay. When God talks, creation rocks. His words are electric, they can give you a shock. Made with a purpose from a master plan. Everything, every creature, every woman and man. When God talks, creation rocks. These words are electric, they can give you a shot. Roll over down, we need to knock out your socks. Cause brother, when God talks, creation rocks. It's an amazing story with the developing plot. And you a part. When God talks, creation rocks. God made me. I'm a God rock. And I know why I'm here. To tell everybody I meet that life has a purpose and a reason to be. Even for a lost little space rock. Like me. Whee! <laughs> My goodness! You're the heaviest little rock I've ever met! <laughs> Sorry, Pastor. When I get excited, my anti-gravity stabilizers go right offline. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, help. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. Uh... Hey, rocks! How about singing that song again? Cosmic hip rock style! <laughs> <laughs> 